What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of The Greatest Vlog in the World. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira. And today we have a jam-packed episode uh, lined up for you guys. Actually, I lie, I've got no idea what we're doing today, but we're kicking off in this place. This is Miradoro do Pico Cudondo. All right, a little secret space and it hurts me a little bit inside to put this on the internet because this is one of my secret weapons as a tour guide and today it's working out perfectly. We were supposed to go up to Pico Cuivo and uh, of course once we got to the top it was all clouded and so we found this place which of course is one of my plan B's and it's not even plan B's, it's plan A really. So uh, without uh, any further ado, let me show you a little bit of this uh, awesome viewpoint and uh, then we're going to move on to the mission of the day. Should be loads of fun. Let's go. We've been spending the last four days with this awesome couple that booked us up for five days uh, to see the island, to hike the island, something like the big walk. So um, this is the fourth day and yesterday uh, was actually last week's vlog. So you can watch that on our channel. But we were supposed to be hiking in the mountains yesterday and unfortunately we had to go to a plan B, which of course was awesome. Uh, and then we thought that maybe today we could do the hiking in the mountains. Of course, if you book us up for a couple of days, all private tours and you want to do all the sorts of stuff, then it makes it a lot easier for us to adjust. So down here we've got Porto de Cruz, Fayal, Santana. We can see very clearly here the plateau of Santana, which is pretty cool because you uh, Santana is a plateau, of course. Next to it is San Jorge, which is a little bit covered in cloud at the moment. We've got Peña de Aguia, uh, the Eagle's Rock over there. And then right in the distance, which is just in the cloud level, is Ponte de San Lorenzo. So huge views, really, really cool views. <laughs> Can I say that again? Great views, really cool views. What was that guy who said that I didn't have a very good vocabulary? vocabulary? It's true, my friend, I don't. It's just views, yeah, great, amazing, awesome. We've been hiking the last couple of days. We started all the way down there in Canisal, close to Ponte de San Lorenzo, and uh, these guys filmed some epic footage. So without uh, rambling too much, let me show you guys uh, what these guys have filmed for the last day, for the last three days, and what we've been doing uh, the last few days. Enjoy. <music> So yeah, here we are, and uh, this is one of my another one of my secret spots. This one, however, is uh, quite difficult to access. Uh, you need one of these bad boys to get here, and uh, this is just an amazing view of the northeast. It's starting to rain, so let's let's get some B-roll of this place, and then let's get out of here, Andre, before your camera gets wet. Right? We'll carry on. We'll carry on. We're getting there. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. The other guys uh, went out to Funchal, they went to go and do the, the cable car and the toboggan because they wanted to do that. So me and Andrea left them to themselves to do that while we got some food because we, we didn't get hotel breakfast. So we're gonna go and pick them up now. I'm sure they had a great time up in Monte. And uh, if you guys wanna go to Monte, we did a video about it last year. Lots of great tips there as well. And now that, now that I'm at it, like and subscribe to the channel because there's going to be lots of cool stuff uh, coming your way. So um, 
We're gonna go and pick them up, up in Monte. And uh, then we're gonna head out to Ponto do Sol because one of them, one of our guests wants to see the Angels Waterfall, which is the waterfall that falls onto the road. So we're gonna show them that and then we're gonna drop them off at San Vicente at their next hotel, where tomorrow uh, we're gonna carry on hiking. So, uh, fun times, fun times. Let's go up to Monte and get these guys. Yeah, if you look on the right, you'll see the, the vineyards. Can you see this looks like a green carpet on the hills? It's grape season now and it's looking really pretty in the mountains of Straight at Camera de Lobos. In last week's video, I told you that, well, I didn't tell you, we drove past Cabo Giro and I said that we don't like crowds and it was so busy because it was in the morning. But now, yeah, it's six o'clock, 6 p.m. and I thought it would be quiet and it is quiet. So we're doing a little bonus stop at Cabo Giro at what is now one of the highest sea cliffs in Europe. I think, uh, I think these guys are taking a book, taking a page out of my book because before it used to be the second highest in Europe, no, the second highest in the world and the highest in Europe, and now it's one of the highest in the world. So, <laughs> anyway, 589 meters above sea level, it's a sea cliff, and they've got a glass floor on it, one of the biggest attractions in Madeira, and uh, yeah, you wanna come here in the afternoon, late afternoon, in the summer, to beat the crowds. So, let's go. They've been wanting to charge people to come here for a while. You can see they've built these little things. And somebody on the channel asked about, you know, what I think about the government charging to come here and to come to the Levadas and things like that. And I think it's a good thing as long as it's not a ripoff. Uh, and also as long as the money goes to the right places, right? I don't like to get political, not on the channel, not in the car. I don't like to get political about any kinds of things because there's so many different opinions. But I do think that uh, the Levadas could be charged a little bit uh, as long as the money goes back into the maintenance of the Levadas so that they are safer as well. So this is not my presidential campaign <laughs> campaign video, that's all. That's my two cents on that. At the moment, it's free, but I think that in the next coming months, it could start being charged. And here we are at the main attraction. This video is brought to you by Hit The Road Madeira. Yes, we are the greatest tour company in the world. And if you want to explore Madeira, beating the crowds, then you gotta check out hittheroadmadeira.com. Use Hugo for President as the promo code and get 10% off your booking. Book now, because we're already fully booked for this month, which is June, <laughs> I believe. So uh, tickets are selling fast for July and August. So make sure to book your ticket early and uh yeah let's let's keep going <laughs> I think I need a vacation. What do you think, Andre? I think so. <sighs> long day, another long day. And um, great day though. I think we really did explore a lot of the island. Uh, took them out to some really secret spots and it was loads of fun. 
Guys, this is the end of the video. Just before I end off, if you are coming to Madeira, not only with us this summer, make sure to book everything early, right? It is getting full, everyone's busy. It's not just us. This is not me trying to sell you stuff. Um, it is really busy, so do yourselves a favor. And also, if you want any help, uh, you know, planning your trip and coming out here, then make sure to contact us. Uh, we do sell a service on Patreon, which uh, helps you to kind of get everything together. You get a video chat with me and uh, I help you kind of formulate a plan and an itinerary and help you with booking everything in as well. Um, otherwise, step into Lido Tours and you can meet with Veronica or Elisa and um, she can help you uh, with everything you need as well. But if you're arriving at the office, it means you're probably maybe just a little bit too late. So you want to do everything done before you get here, right? With that being said, I will see you guys next week, Tuesday. Let's hit the road.